The image you see in front of you, dogwoods along the Merced River, is a perfect example of a process that happens over and over when I'm out searching for imagery. This is a spot that I had probably passed um, literally dozens of times over three or four years searching for a way to capture dogwoods in the Yosemite Valley. And until this reflection that you see in the water in the river running at the top of the picture happened, light bouncing at the end of the day off of cliffs in the background, I literally just couldn't see this picture. But when that happened, and then the light filtering down through the canopy of leaves above the image created that soft top light on the green leaves and the flowers, all of a sudden the image became visible and then I jammed on the brakes, jumped out of the car, <laughs> set up my tripod and, and ran over and captured it after having passed this image at least three times in the last 24 hours. That painterly effect you see in the background at the top of the picture is created by a long exposure. In order to cover the depth of field, keep everything in focus in, in the foreground, I had to use a very slow exposure, about seven seconds. So what you see there is light reflecting on the river running or blurring for about seven seconds, creating that effect which I think is uh, part of the success of the image. My images are actually in color much less manipulated than let's say Ansel Adams were. He did um, a lot in the darkroom to interpret the negative and create an image on paper that um, moved pretty far away in many cases from the negative itself. Black and white is an abstraction to begin with and I don't think that people object to that. They, that's part of the art. In color, if you do too much of that and, and begin creating arbitrary manipulations, it becomes, it, pretty soon it becomes phony. So there's really, a, I think, a greater sense of authenticity with this sort of color photography that um, the assumption by your audience is that there was something exceptional, a sort of sense of heightened reality happened in nature and that you were there and you caught it, and that's what people appreciate, and of course that's what I find satisfying as well.